I'm going to start up the uh, Smart Siren Platinum here. When I did that, the uh, SLR initialized and home to the front. There it is. It's ready. Notice there's a little bit of boot up time. And uh, here's the SLR. I'll put it in multicolor mode. There's no forward facing red. 10 second reminder beep on the uh, keypad. And that is a uh, sync center out pattern at 90 flashes per minute, though you can't really tell because I'm too close to the light bar. Shut that down. Rear oscillate. And this is a sync right arrow. And this will be sync center out 90 uh, without the red. But again, I'm too close for you to really see the patterns. Once it's mounted up on the uh, on the vehicle, it'll uh, it'll be a little more visible. But you can see here, there is a uh, steady burn amber on the uh, driver side hot foot, and uh, a couple other interesting features here. You've got uh, left alley. Right alley. Takedowns. And this is really cool. Got uh, that's your scene light to the right. That's your uh, forward scene light. There's your uh, left scene light. And the scene lights takedowns and alleys can all be jogged. The stepping speed on the jog is a little bit slower than vision uh, halogen but as you can see I'll put an alley on here that way you can see the stepping a little better. You're slowly homing around to the back. And I'll send them back the other way. And reset. So this is the uh, SSP 3000 keypad. And uh, as you can see, I'm not, not nearly done with my programming. But, uh, you know, it's a work in progress. And it comes with... Uh, comes with the legends and there is the uh, programming CD version 1.1 so uh, the bar included all the manuals the red cable that's going into the laptop's Ethernet port is the Ethernet crossover that plugs into the side of the uh, smart siren keypad and that's how you uh, PC program it and here's the back of the smart siren that's got a uh, crossover cable or some sort of link between the serial ports up top serial ports at the bottom. Best I can tell from reading the manual, the control protocol between the Smart Siren 3000 and the Vision SLR is RS-485. So, you know, maybe you can look at it if you've got the right uh, equipment to do so. This is where you'd hook up an auxiliary signal master here. You got your uh, inputs right here and uh, some auxiliary connections here and here and your uh, uh, speaker and radio rebroadcast and horn ring transfer, park disable, all that uh, goes uh, through this bundle here. And it ships with all the standard cables and everything. The uh, difference here between uh, Smart Siren 2000 and Vision is that, Halogen Vision that is, you have to power the control head on uh, Smart Siren Platinum. That's your link uh, to the uh, to the amplifier right there. And then that's your, uh, your power. I don't know what the uh, auxiliary terminals are on it. I don't know. Um, I haven't read that far into the manual yet, but here's the uh, the top panel of the Smart Siren 3000, and whenever you do a light bar function, 
all the status is indicated on the uh, keypad. So. There you go. So that's it. That's the uh, that's the uh, Vision SLR. This is fully loaded. It has well, almost fully loaded. It has four multicolor pods and three amber only pods. Uh, it was supposed to be shipped with all clears, but there was a mistake. So they're gonna hopefully straighten that out. But it's got the uh, LED signal master on the back, and uh, that has the standard patterns: left, center right and off and uh, that's your first uh, that's worn one worn two worn three and worn four and that's uh, that's it so next step is to get it uh, installed on the unit and uh, get the uh, halogen vision that's up there uh, off so Got a good, uh, good, solid ten years, uh, ten years, ten, eleven years actually out of the, uh, yeah, eleven years out of that uh, halogen vision. But this is the uh, the latest and greatest in uh, <laughs> in the vision light bars for those of you that are uh, hardcore fans of it like I am. Uh, I haven't uh, opened the bar up or anything. Um, I think Corey Wise got some pictures of. Uh, of the bar disassembled, I just there's no reason for me to take it apart, so I'm not going to. So there you go. If anyone has any questions or anything, or wants uh, specific pictures of parts of it or whatnot uh, that doesn't involve me disassembling it, feel free to email me. Thanks, everybody. Take care.